Hey, welcome everyone. So this video is going to be about actually us trying to install and remove an air conditioner unit. Um, with every, you know, renovation, there's always stops and pauses. And this is one of our pauses. Um, it was really hot in the trailer. So we thought it would be best to actually put a better AC system in the living room slash uh, kitchen. And then take that one out and then put the old one into the office room. Uh, because the office room had no AC at all. So we wanted to do this because uh, because it was hot in there, um, there was no way we were going to be able to demo um, anything at this point. So my husband actually had to f build a whole new frame for the new AC system. And the new AC system was actually bigger, so he had to actually cut a bigger frame out. As you could see there at the top for the new unit um, so this is him just kind of nailing the frame in together and actually with the old AC uh, I didn't want to throw it away and then kind of just get a new one I thought it was better for us to just use that one into the office since it was a good AC system it was just um, it was just dirty and you'll see that in in, uh, in a second it was really dirty and I don't know if it was the previous owners uh, or I don't know who did it but it actually caulked all of the eight like the whole AC had caulk on it on the top on the bottom on the side and that's how he or she was insulating the AC unit now you know relatively we could have just thrown this away and then get a new AC system uh, for the office um, but I didn't want to do that because I knew it was a good AC unit and it would have saved us money too uh, all I had to do was take out that nasty caulk and you know clean it up and vacuum it and it would have been good to go. And you could see me here, I'm like actually trying to chisel that caulk away. And it's pretty nasty. But once I had cleaned it up and everything, it was good to go. So, this was the interesting part. So the new unit was really heavy. And there was no way we were gonna able we were going to be able to actually lift this unit. So I kind of suggested to my husband that maybe we should figure out some kind of pulley system to lift it up. So luckily, we had um, this engine lift. Um, from my father because uh, he used to be a mechanic so he actually gave that to us um, when we were moving him down to where we live so that came in pretty handy and you can see I actually like um, made a hole up in the ceiling because we, we had planned to take out all of that ceiling anyway but so I made a hole and then we actually screwed up that lift to the top of the joist that was up in the ceiling. And to be honest, we didn't know if it was going to work or not. So, um, and sorry that I actually didn't 
pan the camera down so you can actually see what he was doing. So he was actually putting the the chain around, not the chain, um, it was like a belt. And you actually see that in a, in a couple of seconds. It was a belt that he had to put around the unit before we actually tried to hoist this up. And there you go. And then there's actually the belt that he was putting around it. I mean, we were lucky that we had that, and then we were lucky that we were able to kind of bolt that up to the ceiling as well. And this helped us out a lot um, because there was there was no way we were gonna lift that by ourselves. So this is just one of the, like I said, one of those pauses when you're demoing. You have intentions of like, you know, let's go ahead and demo and get that done. But like I said, there was no way with how hot it was. And, you know, it was, it was a unnecessary, uh, it was a necessary, I would say, a necessary pause in our, on our, our, our renovation here. The unit that was in there was small. <clears throat> and it wasn't cooling the house at all. So I'm glad that we were able to get uh, this new system because it actually um, cooled down the whole trailer as far as the living room, kitchen, and then hallway. So kind of like when you walk in, you're able to feel that cool breeze and not have the heat just stifle you. And I really think we wouldn't have been able to demo if we hadn't done this. So that's us lifting it up. Um, so that's as far as it got. So what we did was, okay, you know, like, let's lift the back. And then kind of shove it into that frame. And I was actually a little nervous that it was going to actually fall. But luckily, uh, it didn't. So what we did was in the behind the system, outside of the trailer, um, my husband actually made um, some kind of uh, cross to hold up the AC system in the back. And that's temporary. Um, we plan on making something more uh, sturdy, you know, and something that would actually look better outside. But for now, that's what we're doing. As long as the house is cool, that's, uh, that's the goal. Might not, be, might not be pretty, but, you know. We wanted to make sure that we were able to do this. Uh, so this is him trying to take the belt off because we couldn't push it further uh, with the belt in. So I plan on doing uh, the demo video as my second video, but 
However, I thought this was important to kind of show, um, you know, what kind of happens when you're kind of sidetracked with other things that you need to do before you get to the, the demoing part. And this is kind of where I go outside to make sure that cross was uh, actually holding up the system. So it, it made me a little nervous, um, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> since I was underneath it outside. Um, so I actually like held it there for a second before I asked uh, my husband to actually come outside to do it. And then uh, he was able to do that while I came back in and you'll see I'll, in a second I, I actually came back in uh, it was actually better for him to be outside than, than me since it I was like a lot shorter and I couldn't actually hold that cross but yeah that's uh, our second video so I hope you uh, at least Got to enjoy it and kind of see. Mm -hmm.